Natalie Dessay, thank you so much for coming in to Breakfast with the Arts. Thank you. <laughs> now, what does that really mean for people who don't know, a G above high C? Is that, That's what does that mean? a very high note, I can say that, and uh, it's, it's unhuman, you know. It's something totally out of the range of the, the, you know, the speaking voice or something like that. But I must say, I had that at the very beginning, so I just had to work on my medium and on, my, on all my voice before these high notes. And when did you discover that you had this unusual range? I started to sing at the age of 20, 21, something like that. And I had already this on these notes, but it, the, the voice was really tiny, so I had to work because um, it was not round enough, it was not large enough for, for a big hole. It's a stereotype, but a lot of opera singers are large people. I think uh, the New York Times called you slight a figure. I must say, that when you have a big, large, heavy voice, you have to have a, a heavier um, body, you know. And when you have a high voice, a very light voice, most of the people who have this sort of voice are like me. You're a good actress from what I've seen. Everyone talks about your acting ability. How important is that to you? That's for me the most important. For me, an opera singer is an actor who sings. That's all. But we have to do everything for the theater. The music is just a way to do theater for me. I'm curious about the learning process. Learning an opera is such a massive undertaking. They're three, four, five hours long. How long does it take for you to prepare for a role? It depends. When it's a French role, for example, it's easier for me, of course, as a Russian role or a German role. But, um, uh, for example, for Strauss, it's, uh, of course, much more difficult. So I. I needed one year, for example, for Zeppinetta and uh, three months for Lacme because it's in French and it's French music. It's much easier to learn and to read from paper. So, and I will, um, I will need, for example, uh, two years at least for Lulu by Berg. You've just finished up Olympia and the Tales of Hoffmann at the Met. What's next? Concerts in Vienna with Nicolas Arnoncourt and then a um, couple of uh, performances uh, of Hoffmann and of uh, Schweigsame Frau by Strauss and then um, a couple of uh, performances in Lyon with a Midsummer Night's Dream but in French, alas, alas. <laughs> and uh, Mitridat Rediponto with uh, Cecilia Bartoli. And recordings, you mentioned recordings. Do you like that process? Do you like going into the studio? You know, it's totally different. And I must say it's very interesting too because you can sing in a different way as on stage, of course. And you can whisper, for example, you can say the words. And um, it can be interesting because of that. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks. Pleasure to meet you. Best of luck to you in your career. Thank you very much.